The strength of Odoo is to integrate all the modules together. Let's see how the manufacturing module can be integrated in a sales process. To illustrate this example, we're going to use a new product, which is a table Christmas edition. We're going to first sell this product to a customer, and you're going to see that my sales order will trigger a manufacturing order and a purchase order for the components of the manufacturing order. Let's see how all of this can be totally integrated. First of all, let's configure the product. So here is my table Christmas edition. It's a stockable product. And my procurement methods are manufacture and make to order. I'm going to create a bill of material based on the table. I'm going to duplicate this one, select my table Christmas edition, I'm going to remove the routing. and I'm going to save it. Regarding my components, as I did duplicate the bill of material of the table, I will still have to manufacture my leg. Regarding the wood panel 300, now I want to manage the stock of this item as well. So let's go on products. I'm going to select wood panel 300. Make sure it's a stockable product. I'm going to buy it and I already did define a supplier which is Woody Wood Pecker Inc. Regarding this information, there is no minimal quantity and the delivery lead time is one day. Save that. And I will also define some reordering rules for that product. I click on create. So it's the rule number two. The minimum quantity will be 40 and the maximum will be 70. I save this and now I'm ready to sell my product to my customer. I go on the sales menu, create a new quotation, We're going to sell to Blue Hotel. I'm selecting my product, which is the table Christmas edition. Let's assume the Blue Hotel did a massive order of 65 tables. I'm going to save it. And I already will confirm the sale. If I check now the delivery order, you can see that we're waiting for another operation. So let's run the scheduler to get all the material I need. Let's go on the warehouse module and run the scheduler. So now let's see what happened. On the manufacturing module, I have two new manufacturing order. 35, which is for my 65 table Christmas edition. And the 36, which has been triggered by the 35 
and they are for the legs to build my table Christmas edition. So if I check here, I will need 260 legs, but I also need 65 item of wood panel 300. So let's go on purchase. And let's see the new created document based on the reordering rule I created. So Odoo did create a new order of six one hundred and five wood panel three hundred. Let's explain that figure. If you go on products wood panel 300 on the inventory tab you can see that the quantity forecasted are minus 35 if I check the reordering rule the maximum quantity is 70 so that's why Odoo did prepare a purchase order of 105 item is the sum of the 35 item and the 70 which is the maximum quantity so if I go back on my request for quotation I will buy my 105 wood panel 300 I confirm and I'm receive my products. I'm going to transfer them to my stock. So here it is. I already have one component of my table Christmas edition. Let's manufacture the other one, the legs. I'm going to take the manufacturing order 36 and let's produce it. So now I have the two components needed to produce my table Christmas edition. I can come back to the manufacturing order 35 and if I check now the availability of my components I have enough to produce what I sold to Blue Hotel I'm going to produce that I'm going to confirm and it's done so let's go back to my sale order and open the sales order number 3. If I check now the delivery order, I'll see that I have all the items needed to deliver my customer. So I can transfer them to Blue Hotel. As you can see, Odoo modules are totally and fully integrated together.